Hello, my name is Bala Afshar, and I'm the Chief Customer Officer for Interesis Networks. As some of you know, earlier this year, we introduced the industry's first social network, where people and products were part of the social network graph. I'm very excited about today to speak to you about our evolution of the social enterprise. We're here at the Network Operations Center at Interesis, and I'm joined with Rich Castleberry, our Director of Information Technology, and Dan Petlon, our Chief Information Officer at Interesis. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. So, Rich, I'd like for you to talk about the evolution of social enterprise, where now we have machine-to-machine -machine social collaboration. Okay, great. Now, before I do that, though, I want to kind of step back and show how people are probably used to running networks today. And it's using something called syslog or SNMP traps, where essentially all of the network events kind of get grouped into a, a big file. And then when someone calls you up and says, I'm having a problem, you go back and look at this file and try to determine why they're having an issue. So what we're looking at is traditional IT management operation where I would say in a defensive mode, you're waiting for a customer to contact you for an issue before you can deliver a service to them. Yeah, exactly. Well, what we really want to be is a little more proactive than that, right? The best way to run a network is to be very proactive or at least react automatically. And that's what we're going to show you today. That makes sense to me. So Dan, as a chief information officer for a company who has nearly 30 cloud SaaS application, completely aware of consumerized IT, and the other mega trends, social, mobile, cloud, big data, Tell me about the importance of automation and user experience. So again, all of our, as you say, 30 cloud applications, everything needs to be integrated together. We need to have this proactive uh, automation in place, and it makes it so much more powerful when it's accessible on any device through social channels that people are, are used to using these days. Uh, we have a saying around here where we're trying to get to uh, the point where anybody in the company would answer the how's IT question with IT rocks, and, and this, these tools really help us get there. That's a very powerful, succinct, and uh, important uh, mantra, IT rocks. All right, well, Rich, show me how IT rocks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to show you is our Isaac implementation. This is in our production network. And we want to recommend called Check Mobile. Okay. Now, what Check Mobile does, fairly intuitive, it goes out and it checks the wireless network globally across all 1,000 users to determine if anybody is having a less than optimal wireless experience. That's fantastic. Now let's just look at the user experience. I'm in a chatter interface within Salesforce.com, and your IT administrator simply, in natural language, is typing a command, simple check mobile, and you're telling me this looks at 1,000 wireless employees across 70 operating countries to provide you with a response. That's, that's pretty intuitive. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, exactly. And it really allows you to very quickly isolate problems, even before users know they have them. That's fantastic. So as we refresh the screen, wow, that's so at 4.08 p.m. we initiate the command, and at 4.08 p.m. we have this uh, response. Now this is a chat from your machine infrastructure. Exactly. This is the infrastructure telling us this user is having a problem. And it gives you all the information that you need to start troubleshooting right away. It gives you the wireless MAC address, it gives you the access point uh, information, it gives you the serial number, it gives you the topology name, and most importantly, the username. So sure. You can call that user. So Dan, the other screen, now that we have all this chat forensics from the machine, what's the next step in so, automating the process? So then to continue this automation right from within Salesforce, derived right from that chat, we created a service desk ticket right in the service cloud in Salesforce. And the service desk ticket was created in the, you know, for the user, and it has all that same rich troubleshooting information already in the ticket. The user's notified that a ticket was created on his behalf, and he knows that we're working on solving a problem that he may not have even known that he had yet. That's amazing. So I want to make sure I get this straight, uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. You use the social capabilities of Salesforce, and you chatted to a machine infrastructure. The machine infrastructure chatted back. You took that information and directed it to the services cloud, and you automatically created a services help desk ticket whereby all of the information in the chat that were relevant to forensics is now embedded automatically into the case fields. That's it. That is unbelievable. You know what? IT rocks. <laughs> that is fantastic. Thank you. So well. here's an example of the social enterprise where we're reducing the life cycle of contact, transforming a defensive mindset to a preventative, proactive service delivery ultimately delighting our customers using social, mobile, and cloud.
Thank you, guys. Fantastic demonstration. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Thank you.